It's early, early, early on a Sunday morning, which is not always the very most freshest time for hackers, I've noticed. There's somebody that just signed up. I don't know what I should okay. show you. My name is Dazza Greenwood. I'm a scientist here in the MIT Media Lab. And today we are hosting the Open Music Legal Hackathon, where we'll explore solutions and you know, new ideas to try to make business easier for musicians, composers, producers, the creators of the world that need some help to get past business barriers and legal obstacles. Legal hacker right here. Yes, the legal hacker, Vibe Chain. Vibe Chain. It's the grooviest project. Thank you. We have a ton of creative people here. Lots of amazing tools and resources. Swaggy. <laughs> what I keep telling uh, all my fellows here is that MIT is the definition of pushing the forefront of human knowledge. Actually, our CTO, Daniel, when he was ro roaming uh, the corridors here, he says he has goosebumps and he was having trouble <laughs> falling to sleep. So yeah, this is MIT, so it is the place to be. The pre-start is going to be just to introduce ourselves so people can know who's in the room. Andre, okay, nice to meet you too. Do you guys know each other? I'm interested in like legal automation, legal tech more broadly, improving the law through technology, etc. Some research in the blockchain area related to ICO, to blockchain prototypes. So I'm Hello, particular. I'm Jacob. I'm a math student at MIT and I want to learn about blockchain. Kind of a hacker and a hobbyist on blockchain related things. So I have a Bit of a mad scientist lab with a bunch of My name's George players. Howard, and I'm one of the original founders of the Open Music Initiative. I'm also an associate professor at uh, Berkeley College of Music and at Brown University. Hi, I'm Kay Vaughn. I uh, came here from San Francisco. I am part of the R chain, blockchain. And the fact that we're here doing this whole discussion shows everybody in the ecosystem how relevant the thing is. So far, I think this event is really terrific. It's exactly what we'd hoped for at the Media Lab in terms of getting together people from Berkeley College of Music. He's the director of library systems. Technology groups. Uh, Andy Valchuler, the founder and CEO of Endor. People uh, in the yeah, music yeah. profession so itself. I'm interested to learn more about music and the blockchain. Heap so, ton of lawyers. What if lawyers collaborated on GitHub in the same way that coders And see if we can't break through the barriers and the obstacles that have been holding musicians, composers, other performing artists and creatives back. So far the event is off to a rollicking start. We got a few teams, a bunch of technologies, a bucket full of ideas and key questions and problems that people want to solve. Right, what is popular? What should I sing about? And having just checked in with all the teams, there's a bunch of great projects that are bubbling up. Can't wait to have them all presented when the teams report out at the end of the day. Our vision is to make it as simple as possible. As simple as possible and as... We just as completed our learning session, which was super exciting because it was an opportunity for us to tell all the participants who arrived what is Endor and how it can disrupt the music industry. So much like regular physics, social physics works on any type of human data, which is why we can work on data that we don't know the semantics of. We can absorb data coming from our customers, in a fully encrypted way, we don't need to know anything about the data, and we can still provide very accurate predictions. There is no limit to use cases or industries that can use Endor. It's pretty much to the average person. One thing that we saw is that um, people from the music industries with zero background in machine learning or data science, they can now build applications and services that fulfill their creative imagination, creative ideas, and this I think is awesome. We had an amazing session with a bunch of guys from Berkeley and from, uh, I think, Stanford, Harvard, about the different aspects of music industry and in general how you can tackle human behavioral patterns in data. So we talked about aspects of music rights, how you can kind of target your audience and how you can be paid uh, accordingly and how you can uh, open up new industries. Chain is a platform uh, that allows friends to come together to build a playlist and get together and listen to that playlist. So in other words, if I invite you to hang out with me, once you show up at the door, I will play the exact very song that you like. And I think it's super awesome. I think that we would see it come to fruition. So we're ranking the entire population in
it's, it's amazing. I've been here for a couple of times. Uh, we've been brainstorming with Sandy and Yaniv. And as a matter of fact, I think we had this first discussion four and a half years ago, kind of sat here. Uh, Yaniv, me and Sandy, and kind of discussed it in his room, just down the hall, his office. And it was amazing because uh, Sandy is a visionary. We technologists tend to sort of like run off and say, oh, we can like compute this and stuff. He comes from really very vast experience and understanding how data works and how people work. And the social physics has, has the, the potential of really disrupting this world. And of course, the big thing is humans. This is all for people. It ought to be something that makes our society better. And the way we can do that is by having conversations. Uh, that's generally what we do here at MIT. Just see people like Andorra. I, I, I read their, their white paper, so I, I'm happy to see that whatever they're working on, I might become their client very soon. So just face-to-face -face interaction with the team, it's very nice. I'm very grateful. One of the highlights of the morning, I think, was the Endor specific learning session. Part of what was good about it was they walked through the data science and sort of the, the business methods that enable them to do analytics on data while the data is still encrypted and safe. It's just the right type of tool at just the right time. And it's amazing. I think that uh, we're in baby steps, we're getting there. <laughs> the thing that I think all of us at the Media Lab are happiest about and proudest of is that we're not hacking alone here. So it's a distributed legal hackathon with legal hackers. Vienna, Tokyo, San Francisco. Uh, we're lucky to have Dazza uh, in the world because he is a, a force of inspiration for, I think, lawyers everywhere to be able to be part of building and building together. We have, a, we have whiteboards in here, we have a table, we have gray matter. Let's put it all together and hack the law, come on. Yeah. Legal hackers, New York, Kansas City, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Hi everyone, my name is Camila. I'm Legal Hackers, Sao Paulo chapter co-organizer. Are you there, Daza, yet? Hello, here we are, coming to you live from MIT. So this is our Brazilian crew. This is a way that we, we hope that we can do a better job at breaking open the process of participatory, citizen-focused science and make sure everybody can be involved and we can get okay, the best yes, of the so. outputs of everybody's ideas. Thank you very much. Bye. This afternoon we shifted gears and tried the format of a roundtable discussion session. So asking an artist right now, what do you need? What would make things... I, I don't know how things look in, in, in West Africa, but I assume that the process isn't as streamlined. Um, I'm from Brazil and, and that gave us an opportunity to surface to different views and ideas and we had a spirited discussion by the end of it we had a chance to identify the key types of technical prototypes and new business models that remain to be built in order to achieve this vision we have for open music. You need a collaborative approach uh, with the law in order to be able to come up with solutions that are actually uh, feasible and applicable in the real world. We brought hundreds of people from four different continents uh, to work together and imagine what the future could look like. It's the excitement of developing new technologies, of pushing the boundaries of science, of finding a way to accomplish what was considered impossible before, this is what makes me open my eyes with joy at every morning. I really want to thank Endor, an MIT Media Lab spin-off company, for being such a great collaborator on the hackathon. They made their tools available, and they showed up in force from Israel at the Media Lab to really support the teams and to help us move forward. So I want to just encourage everybody to keep at it, especially those of you that are really making a go of it with your with the specific companies that you've been working on developing. So this is the question today. How can the artists, the creative people behind the curtain benefit a lot more because they're giving us so much? And let us see if we can't catalyze lightning striking. We've got the windmill in sights and we're ready to go tilting. So thank you everybody. So. This Open Music Legal Hackathon is hereby successfully 
concluded. Thank you all. You know, they need to invite in rather than push out. This is a far more productive use of my time than staying at home and watching Netflix. Hackathon, the hackathon allowing you to wrap uh, with your application our engine and create new TripAdvisor. Does anybody have the USB-C kind of like dongle? Because that seems to be what is holding me back here.